everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to update a child's existing booking pattern. To do this, you're going to click on the child's details page and then you're going to click on the bookings tab. You're then going to click on a booking within the week ending you wish for the bookings to be updated from. It's extremely important the next step is you are selecting the future weeks in the update drop down box. You're then going to select an end date. This may be only for a four week period, it may be to the child's end booking or into the near future. Whichever the case may be, you can select the end date and in the room and booking type drop down box, select the changed booking type. This may be for within the same room or for a different room. Once you've completed those changes, you can then click save. And this will update those bookings within that date criteria. Because the session indicator is routine and the bookings were updated for four weeks or more, a new enrollment 200D notice will be submitted to CCS and to the Guardian's MyGov account on the date of the change. So for example, in this scenario, the date change was for the 20th of August and therefore the CCS enrollment will be submitted today. If the changes do not occur until a date in the future, the enrollment notice will be sent to CCS when that date has come. For additional information on how to update a child's existing booking pattern, please do not hesitate to reach out to the KidSoft customer success team. You may also like to look at our additional video tutorials in our YouTube channel for more tips on KidSoft. Thank you.